So this is actually not our best time of year to make a great first impression. We just pretty much finished with the fruit and so now it's trimming time. We've been trimming a lot in the last two weeks. So I thought we would show you around a little bit quickly, I hope. We'll have this be an endurance test for watching. One thing to be said about all these branches is they looked a lot more impressive when they were coming down from the tree. They sort of don't get a good appreciation for how big the branch was when it's in a pile on the ground. But this is uh, one of our, our bigger projects. We have four big haven trees here and um, cutting out some tall branches from uh, each of the trees. So it's, this is over the past week and a half. So we have some brown uh, leaves and some very fresh green leaves. to having a lot of grafts on that, put some on the end, and then there was one fairly small branch that was on the top of the tree yesterday, hit this big branch and broke it off, and um, the reason it got broken is because of this rock here. We knew there was there was rot on this smaller branch here, but it went all the way back into uh, the wood, and, and we had to go back uh, more than 10 feet to get to this um, wood, which is, you know, fairly healthy there, just a little hint of what the other rot was. So that was a little unexpected turn yesterday. All these branches are going to be uh, piled up tomorrow, so it should look a, quite a bit different at that point. These Hayden trees, even the tallest one here, is still significantly shorter than 17 years ago, 18 years ago when we um, moved in. Uh, it's uh, they had just been growing for probably 80 years and not getting trimmed and so it gets really difficult to pick the fruit at least safely and so we've been trying to make them smaller and then especially for grafting new varieties on we want to have uh, the lowest possible limbs to be grafting. So most of, of the trees here have been trimmed. This is an exception. Duncan had fruit on it last week, so we didn't, didn't trim that one yet. You see lots of brown branches littering the, the ground on this side. We did this side of the grove first. Probably a little bit of touch-up pruning to still do. So we try and get the major cuts done early on so that the tree has plenty of time to recover. It seems that the big, the big cuts take longer to recover from, and so when we go around and do the smaller cuts, then it's um, it, the tree doesn't have um, need as much time to recover from that. Two are lemon meringue, we did those yesterday, and this is a multi-graft tree that has some very interesting varieties on it in the middle, so we wanted to make sure that this got a lot of sunshine, so we cut a, a little bit more from the sides of those trees. But, yeah. 
lots, lots of branches on both sides of the driveway. This tree uh, is a major project tree. It's got uh, a crew coming hopefully soon, hopefully tomorrow, um, to uh, cut basically the top half of the tree off. It's way too big to uh, efficiently or you know pick the mangoes on the top. And uh, it's beyond our means. Uh, really, we don't have equipment to do that. Uh, so we want to make this shorter, and uh, I've already grafted onto this low branch. That one's already completely grafted over to another variety, and so we just want to take out the the other um, tall parts of the tree and hopefully put on some varieties that are more appropriate for that. Try to clean up the front here. <laughs> the rest of the place is needs a lot of of uh, work, but you know at least we have our little patch of sanity. I started cutting this is from Moldova. I started cutting some low branches because with all the rain we had uh, about uh, ten days ago, I think um, the young branches actually were on the ground, and so I cut those so that we could get the golf carts through. And um, then we came back with a chainsaw and, and cut some more out of the tree. So that piece conveniently over here. Here's a, a couple of seedling trees. We trimmed a lot out of this one especially uh, because I'm going to graft a, another variety onto it. So there's sort of a theme going on. And, uh, yeah, I had to trim the one that was close to the shade house, trim the branches away from the shade house. And, and did a whole bunch of trimming on this here. Some of it is this foreground is, is mango, and then we get into lychee and long gun. And here we have almost all mango down on this side. And then we'll take a quick trip over to the other side of the lychee so you can tell what the last of our our um, project trees um, looks like. So part of the problem with the leeches is that it's gotten very overgrown because we haven't had the fruit for about five years, and we generally trim them when the fruit uh, when we're taking the fruit off of them. So anyway, there's always higher priority things. This year, uh, this became a priority, so this is a shadow of its former self. And this is part of the stuff that was its former self. Leachy uh, leaves seem to, to dry out very quickly. So it looks like this has been off the tree for a long time, but and then up the hill we've trimmed back that long down and also a uh, mango tree so plenty of branches down uh, up there also and uh, then if we just turn around and look toward the back fence, uh, that's some um, branches that we trimmed from our, our mangoes along that fence. So anyway, it's been a, a lot of work and we're not quite done yet, but that's the progress.